It's morning in the dollhouse. It's a perfect time to meet and see what everyone looks like. One doll is all right. The other one lost her hair. That's fixable. Shape yellow light clay into a hat right on the doll's head. Separate bangs and strands of hair with a modeling tool. Make little cuts with scissors. Shape two balls from clay, attach them to the head, and add strands on them with a modeling tool. Make two thin strips from pink clay. Wrap them around the balls and decorate with heart-shaped rhinestones. Define separate strands with glitter glue. Done. And we have a base for the next idea. Paint the light clay base red. Make separate strands black. <laughs> now we need tassels. The pigtails turned out awesome. Wow. We need to brush them. Another idea. Cover the head in plastic wrap. Cut two rectangles from a paper towel. Put one onto the head over the plastic wrap and coat it with white glue. Place the second layer on top and press it. Smooth it out with your fingers. Coat the paper towel with white glue again and let it dry. Take everything off the plastic wrap and cut it out along the line. Put the base onto the doll's head. It fits like a glove. Take two shades of hair extensions. Make three braids. Fasten the ends with a hair tie and carefully trim. Hot glue them to the wig base right on the head. Cut some pink faux fur and glue it in between the braids and on the temples. We get a nice morning hairstyle. It's fun and neat. Well, whose hair looks better now? Do you like it? Wow! Oh, hang on a second. See, I look completely different. Wow. I can swap it every five minutes if I want to. <laughs> Your pigtails are so fun. No one has a hairstyle like this. Can we be friends? Sure we can. Thanks for the flowers. <laughs> Will we be able to prepare a super old doll for a circus career? This poor thing is completely broken, but that won't stop us. Place the doll onto stretchy fabric and trace the outlines of her body. Also, add arms. Cut out and sew the bodysuit for our future gymnast. Put the bodysuit onto the doll. Stuff the empty sleeves with hollow fiber filling. Put in hands and sew the sleeves so the hands stick to it. The arms are done. Let's make ballet shoes out of fabric ribbon. Now our doll looks like a professional circus performer. Cut two little pieces out of fabric leftovers and make a headpiece out of them. We just have to DIY accessories. We'll need two metallic rings and a satin ribbon. We turn them into gymnastic rings with just a few moves. Now our doll is ready to fly up to the top of the circus and amaze us with space tricks. Bravo! This LOL doll obviously has problems. No ears, no face. What should we do? Remove paint leftovers with acetone. Melt old glue with a hot glue gun. Coat the doll's body and the face up to the hairline with blue acrylic paint. Don't touch the eyes. Add drops of hot glue to the ears. Shape them to be sharp and paint them blue. Apply another layer of paint. Take a metallic shade. 
Move onto the ice. White is the first layer. Add a green iris and black pupils. A thin line above will make the eyes more defined. And white dots will add glow. Paint the lips pink. Add some pink to the ears too. Wow! Make the wrinkles on the forehead and on the sides dark blue. Add more white dots all over the body. Hot glue a braid. Add a tail to a cord. And fasten it on the waist. Did you already guess what it is? We made a real Navi! A Pandora citizen! <laughs> or maybe this is Avatar? Or a female Avatar? Only Octashroom can tell us that. <laughs> oh no, it's not here. Real Navi wouldn't do that. That's definitely an avatar. And we made it practically from nothing. Put satin ribbons inside a container. Snap. Hair extensions are ready. Baby, here is a new hairstyle. <laughs> Bangs are too long. Oh, sorry. Hairstylist, you have a job to do. Short bangs and two cute ponytails really suit her. Say bye to old makeup. Draw a cat eye. Outline the lips. The girl is wearing a bright sundress with a yellow t-shirt. She has light knee socks and shoes. <laughs> Doesn't she look cute? Beads decorate the hair. We made a hair clip out of modeling clay. It looks even better in purple. Lily, you look great! <laughs> it's a great day for playing outside! Well, girls, what should we play? Let's play statues. <laughs> then you'll be the curator. Okay. Lily went to the tree. The other players got in a row. One, two, let's start! The girl is standing with her back to the field. Meanwhile, the friends started to move to the line quietly and slowly. Ha! Lily quickly moved. Statues. Froze in different poses. Oops, Holly was not able to withstand the look of the curator. <sighs> the girl was eliminated. Go on. <laughs> ah, the line is so close. But unfortunately, Shiny didn't freeze on time. Oh, the victory was so close. Two final girls. Who's gonna reach the line? Step? One more step. Yeah, Lily didn't turn around in time. Cool. The face of this doll is completely wiped off. We need to turn her into something. Wipe off paint remains. Cut off the old hair with a heated knife. Cover the holes with hot glue. Shape light clay into a muzzle and hot glue it to the mouth. Coat the doll with pink acrylic paint. Make big ears from two balls of light clay. Super glue them to the doll. And paint them pink too. Make the bottom of the eyes white and the top red. Also paint the nose and ears. Add a thin black line over the white part of the eye. Add lashes and pupils. Trace them with pink. Our troll is getting transformed little by little. Add glow to the eyes with white dots. Paint a thin arched line over the nose. Our cutie is already smiling. Make hair from pink wool and hot glue it. Add more wool as bangs. Put the hair into a ponytail. Whoa, it turned out so beautiful! Cut a tiara from thin green felt. Glue it to a plastic bottle ring. Wow! Make flowers from felt and glue them to the accessory. 
great! Pink troll girls love green things! Cut dress parts from blue felt. Hot glue them to each other and cut lengthwise. Put it onto the doll and glue on the back. <laughs> Add lace on the dress with white acrylic paint. Oh, what a cutie! You can't resist being friends with her and playing. I love bright and fun things! Let's go sing and dance together! <laughs> wow! What a difficult case! This doll has totally lost her head! Uh, no big deal, there's a perfume box. Cut off a part of a pack with a utility knife. On two boxes at once. Turn over the inside part and you get a box with a top that opens. Cut a little hole at the bottom to fit in the head fastening. Cover one side of the box using decorative tape with stripes and cut off the excess. Use tape with different patterns for the other sides. We get a TV! Draw eyes on the screen and cut them out with a sharp knife. Take the light and the switcher out of an old LED flashlight and glue it into the box. Trace the eye holes, dark eyelashes, and a mouth. Take an LOL headband with ears. Cut off the ears, sprinkle with glitter, and glue on top of the box. What is that? A robot? Or a doll that can't take her eyes off a TV and is turning into one? In any case, this is something completely new. I am a robot. Cut off the bottom of a liquid laundry detergent bottle using a modeling knife. Coat the bathtub with white acrylic paint. Apply gold acrylic paint using a dry brush and light strokes. Make it look like it's old. Make a rim on top out of a cord. Let's give it legs. Beads will be perfect for it. Glue decorative golden rings to the sides as handles. And now decorate the bathtub with a flower pattern. Add a cord around the edge. Define the drain with black acrylic paint. Glue a bead to a cord instead of a plug. Put the plug into the drain so the water doesn't pour out. Let's make handles for our tap. Thread beads that look like tap handles onto a wire. Glue them near the tap. Voila! Our vintage bathtub is done! Our doll can feel like a real lady in it. Sometimes old dolls are ruined with markers. That's not a problem. Some acetone can make their face clean again. Oh, we didn't manage to fix the nose. Thank goodness circus performers use fake noses. A little ball of light clay and we have a clown nose. Sketch out a piece of fabric making the cutout bigger than the doll. Cut it out and glue along the seams. Sew it on the waist and the ankles. And put the pants onto the future clown. Well, it looks more like a sleeping bag now. But we pull the pants on the waist and the ankles with just one move. And now they fit like a glove. We can even add a bow. 
Don't forget about fuzzy decorative balls. Make suspenders out of two satin ribbons. We can't do without suspenders when we have these giant pants. And we also need big boots to match big pants. We'll make them out of light clay. Don't forget to add laces with a black fine liner. A clown is not a clown without a special makeup look. Crumble some pastel and use a brush to coat the doll's face with white powder. Add blushed red cheeks and black lines near the eyes. <laughs> Complete the look with a big fun bow. Glue it to a hair clip. Our clown can make anyone laugh who's even a little bit sad. Cut a hair dye carton. Print out a picture with flowers to fit the size of the folding screen and cut it out. Put it on and trace the shape. Now cut it out. Use a glue stick to attach the pieces to the folding screen. Make partitions and rims out of white cord. Use beads instead of legs. Hot glue them so they're stable. We got an exquisite furniture item for a real lady. Now our doll can change her outfits. <laughs> Let's add some bath foam. Water is perfect. It's so nice to light aromatic candles and enjoy warm baths and bubbles after a hard day. Ruined paint is pretty usual for a doll. Is it worth throwing it away when it's so easy to fix? Get rid of the old paint with acetone and a cotton pad. Use white acrylic paint for the eyes, blue for the iris, and black for big pupils. Decorate with a few pink dots. Add a bit of violet. Make the eyes match the hair. Define the lids with a thin brush and add lashes. Also add blue eyeshadow. Make the eyes glow with clear acrylic polish. Add some white to the face and scarlet to the mouth. To make the eyes more defined, we just have to paint the horn blue. Glue plastic roses to a headband. Paint and sprinkle with glitter. Put the headband onto the doll. Now it's definitely complete. It's so great when you're all right. You can jump and enjoy life. Or you can sit down and relax. Make a chair with a back out of an old eyeshadow pot. Cover the inside of the eyeshadow pot with white cardboard. Hot glue a cord around. One and two. A seat is done. Hot glue makeup brush handles to the bottom to be legs. Decorate the bottom of the chair with fringe. A little but still important detail is left. Cut a little heart out of cardboard. Attach it to the back of the chair. LOL needs to remember that we love her a lot. We just can't take our eyes off you. Don't move, I'll take a few pics. 
A top model career is waiting for you. <laughs> Another LOL doll has lost her face, but everything else is still here. No need to throw it away. Remove old paint. Coat the head with light acrylic paint. Paint white part of the eyes, add bright blue irises, and black pupils. Define eyelids and lashes with a thin brush. Add dots of white paint to make the eyes glow. Blue eyebrows. Look, we have a face now. Make pink lips. Define the iris and eyebrows with glitter glue. Do you still want to throw it away? Trace a cutout on a sheet of foam paper. These are five identical dress parts. Cut them out and hot glue. Attach longer side to the body. The details have to overlap. The doll is dressed. Has makeup? We just need to add accessories. Glue two pieces of chain. Add rhinestones. Decorate the dress with thin lines. Cut two wings from organza. Hot glue them to the back and decorate with rhinestones. Take two pieces of pipe cleaner and bend the ends. Hot glue them to the head. Do you think I'm a butterfly or a dragonfly? No, I'm actually a fairy. I was transformed into it thanks to some skills and imagination. Trace a little eyeshadow palette on craft cardboard. Cut sides for a bedside table and glue them together. Cut out a cap to fit and hot glue it on top of the palette. Cut off the bristles and take handles off makeup brushes. That'll be licks. Coat all the visible parts with beige acrylic paint. Attach decorative gold tape to the edges. Glue a metallic bead to the front of the bedside table. Take the mirror out of an old face powder compact. Hot glue a cord around it. Divide a metallic wire into a few thin pieces using cutting pliers. Put colorful beads onto the rays. Now if our LOL doll wants to see something beautiful, she can just look up in her mirror. Put beads of different colors and shapes into a piece of wire. Place a tube cap on top. Wrap decorative tape around the lamp. We can put it onto the bedside table. It's a perfect combination for a doll room. And here's LOL. A workout? Isn't it a little late for jumping? Oh, that's not what we thought it was. LOL doll just can't reach the mirror. <laughs> but she doesn't give up and gets a chair to see her reflection. <laughs> Wow, you're stunning! <laughs> Barbie girl, what happened to your makeup? <laughs> we'll fix it. Tear a paper towel and cover it with white glue. Cover the doll's head with plastic wrap. Apply the glue mix on the face as a mask. Remove it after it hardens and trim the edges. Coat the base with white acrylic paint and decorate. Add tiny nail beads around the eyes. Decorate the other side of the mask with rhinestones. Hot glue decorations around the edge of the mask. Attach blue sequins using white glue. Add more small rhinestones. Hot glue a feather and a ribbon. Amazing! It's shining bright! <laughs> Bye girls, I'm going to the Venice Carnival. I'll have the best mask. Oh, my carriage is here! 
I'll have to be careful not to ruin the feather. Did someone want to throw her away? This elegant doll? We needed to use some imagination and skills to make the doll interesting again. Let's go!